this wasn't like look at the beautiful woods. Yeah. This was like these are massive yeah. companies, massive greenhouses that are churning out these like workers who come here with this expectation who have bought into this kind of landscape that we have in our heads of like Canada as this beautiful rural liberal place where everything is great. Yeah. And I thought the portrayal of the landscape in the film totally contrasted that. It was all like crowded domestic spaces or else these giant warehouses kind of taking over like this whole area of land where these people are just being turned out all the time. So I thought it kind of challenged that idea of what we would assume we would see in landscape in the Canadian film. Mm -hmm. Smartphones are so important in that film. Yeah. Like they have yeah. evidence in smartphones and it's the only connection they have with their with their country in Indonesia. Yeah. They're yeah. always on FaceTime. And also so. I thought it was it, it was interesting in that like these people had a choice whether to leave or not. Like that woman's husband said to her, Was it really so bad? Like maybe you could have stayed here. You know my question is why would they give them the right to marriage? and nothing else. Like, what yeah. good is that going to provide them once they go back home? They're not even of the same religion, the mother fainted. What's the point of that? I don't know. Oh. I think it was like, the dream. I thought it was really interesting that you mentioned that they want to show it in universities and schools and they want to show it to migrants themselves. Yeah. Because this isn't, uh, this isn't like uh, when we saw Petropolis, where like they're they're aiming at a at a different audience and oh let's all of us understand this all thing they want to target it at people who will make the noise about it they don't want to target it at the government or right. a sympathetic audience to the government yeah because that's not gonna get the change that they want it starts with the K and it's like the house like something house, house. Yeah. yeah and so like that's sort of the to same idea the like the gentlemen yeah, that are sort of house. yeah. So like they're the ones that are sort of leading that community center and they're sort of trying to put the message into the kids because they're the ones that are going to be able to make the change or like they might be the most direct current to making that change. And also how hard it is to get people to see a film that's not funded by the government. And also I've seen that on, when they go on the, in the car, I've noticed that the only shots that look forward are right um, before something nice like the wedding okay. or like what, what's the they're purchasing thing? some clothes and the ring yeah yeah when they're purchasing the clothes that's yeah. the thing and that those two things there is uh, this nice during the day shot mm -hmm. the other shots yeah. that are in the car looking forward are at night yeah. and they're really blurry mm -hmm. and they're right before they start talking about the bus well contrast again not only in terms of funding but if so you're interviewing people who are terrified in to speak to you okay. and um, like, there's money in the camera yeah. 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 yeah, I think that's the thing that people don't really get is that they don't want to be in the somebody sits down and watches it for two hours and then they understand they don't have to go away and read a bunch of newspapers they don't have to have a degree in something you watch a film and then you get it 